Vale. My parents and my three siblings were determined that I should experience everything they did. And as soon as I could read Braille, I read for myself as well. My name is Karen Gerald. I was born without usable eyesight. It's called retinitis pigmentosa, but since it's something that I've always had, it hasn't seemed really difficult to me. I was very blessed to be one of the first young students in Virginia to be mainstreamed into the public schools and then eventually went on to Harvard University and later on to Duke University for a law degree. I also work with the Library of Congress rescuing old transcriptions of Braille music and in addition I have my own embossing business producing Braille documents and hymnals. I'm just one person limited in what I can do but if I can impart knowledge and confidence to others they will multiply the blessings far beyond anything I could do by myself. I first found out about Operation Blessing almost accidentally, or so it seemed to me. Then I inquired about work for the blind that might be done abroad, and before I knew it, I had been invited to go to Israel, where I had a chance to see what the Arab Blind Association was doing. So we went to historical sites, and we also visited the biblical sites, the possible sites for Mount Calvary, the garden tomb where our Lord rested before his resurrection. We had a chance to walk on the streets of Jerusalem, see what it was like as the people bustled about. I heard sounds of traffic. Everything became much clearer to me as I visited myself, explored, ate the food the local people ate, and I had a chance to ask questions as well. I learned that the men who belonged to the association were expected to support their families, so they learned to make mops and brooms. If the members of the association had things like talking watches and radios and computer access, they could better keep up with what is going on in the world and they could communicate with blind and sighted friends and members of their families. It's the best feeling in the world to think that I have been able to do something for them. Operation Blessing serves well over 30 different countries and has many different types of endeavors. I feel confident because I can actually know the people who are administering the gifts. Everything we give is truly used for those who need the help.